Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, we uh, have now, uh, we have a look at my uh, up-putting table. As you can see, I have everything around what I need in these uh, containers. My pumice, my pebbles, uh, something smaller. So that's my small pumice, uh, a mixture. That those are the leftovers, so I use that as a mixture. I clean them and I reuse them. And some new bigger pumice. Uh, over there and on top I have my tray uh, I have some new uh, pots already uh, ready for the orchids and some name tags everything I need so this is a really nice one my uh, my husband found this in a secondhand shop and he bought it and at first I was like um, I don't know what I why do I need this table and now I am using it for years and I'm so so happy with it it's very easy to clean as you can see the desk of the table and yes I have two orchids sitting there and probably uh, uh, probably you uh, yeah probably already uh, see which ones because they those are just on their own the psychopses especially the blooms they are very yeah li like these blooms these type of blooms and we try to focus and to talk as you can uh, probably hear but I want to zoom in so it was a little distracted <laughs> but yeah the psychopses blooms are one and other kind I think I have two, two of them and you probably remember this one if you are long on my channel this is the yellow one and um, yeah the spikes are off because it didn't do well and it's a process of over a year you will see some uh, dead bulbs uh, later on in this video but it finally started a new growth so this is the time to do a repot and I'm going to put them both of them in net baskets my new setup as you probably saw in my uh, one of my last, uh, actually my last uh, uh, potting video of Miltoniopsis, I use those baskets as well, and I think those two will like it as well. These this new setup, so uh, because these are the warmer growers, and in winter I have them in a greenhouse, and it's getting a little bit colder. But I think by not having them stand directly in a reservoir they will not get as cold. I have a reservoir underneath here in the pot about this level, something around that. And these net pots will be above that reservoir and these pots are completely in that reservoir. So the water will get cooler and therefore it will get a little bit too cold for them in winter, I think. So this is a new thing I'm testing uh, upcoming uh, winter just to see and then I can see in spring how they really do but that's uh, basically what I'm trying to uh, achieve here we're gonna follow this yellow one because there's there's much happening there we uh, I think that might be interesting that one I will uh, the one in the back the butterfly I will uh, put some pieces in because otherwise these videos get a little bit too long but yeah I thought I think as a grower I would be interested in most interested in following this one once again we will have some footage of that one as well so but let's start we uh, otherwise this video gets even way longer <laughs> so here we go so yeah like I said in the in the intro this is a, a process of over a year so it didn't uh, yeah start basically absorbing absorbing i'm sorry absorbing these bulbs it looks like rotting but it really took the energy out of it because it did go very, very slow if you have rot it will go very quick but if it gets very slow uh, in my opinion that is uh, because these bulbs do take the energy from from uh, the older bulbs and in this case at first was to uh, to uh, secure the spikes you can see some uh, leftovers here some remaining parts of the spikes and uh, so I decided to uh, cut those off and now it's starting to uh, work on this new growth here so it needs that energy but these bulbs are there's not much in there anymore so I need to get it out clean it up and just have a look so that's what we're going to do now and then I will uh, put a new date on this is from 2018 can you believe it's it's um September almost four years in this setup so yeah it needs a new home that's not really the case because like I said this was uh, an ongoing process over a year uh, probably even longer 
the yellow one wasn't in a good condition when I did get it. And I believe it's a little bit harder to grow than the more regular one, the more available one, like the butterfly, more orange and yellow one we will see uh, later on in this video. But the Alba is a little bit more difficult in my opinion. But it's still here and it's uh, giving me a sign that it wants to grow. So uh, we will uh, try to work with that. And I see a root here. Let me zoom in. Uh, come a bit closer, I'm sorry. Uh, root here and root there, that's still green. So there are some roots, but I would like to have a few more. So I'm going to uh, get it out gently, slowly and gently getting it out of the pot. Sorry for the noise. And as you can see, it's uh, potted in uh, small pumice and a little bit of lacquer, but mostly small pumice. Pumice, so I now know that I use this pumice for uh, at least four years or already. This, this actually might uh, be one of the first ones that I potted in pumice. And I love it, as you probably know by now. So we're gonna reuse the water meter. I'm not... I think I'm not going to reuse much of this media now. Well, actually I'm not completely sure. We shall see. First of all, I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the, on the tray so we can have a close look on what we have here. Let me adjust the camera. So yeah, we have some roots. Yes, are they alive? Well, the ones that we saw when it was still in a pot seem to be alive. Those are these guys. Yes, these are definitely alive. This one feels fairly firm as well, even though it's brown, those tips aren't alive anymore. Yeah, these are alive, you guys, that's beautiful. So we definitely, yeah, this one is alive. It's very hard, you can feel it. Let me, ch yeah, this one, well, this one, no, this one. I'm going to take that one off. I think a part of that root is still alive, but most of it is, is dying and it's very brown. So let's get that one out of the way. This one is broken. So that one is going to have to go as well. We have some mold here. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, we have more mold here. So yeah, I think they set up the new setup with the net basket will net basket will help as well to get more air in otherwise you might get some mold and a little bit is not that uh, the end of the world but we know how mold works we don't want it too much in the pot let me check it's on a, a live root those roots most of them are alive that's a good sign so to be honest it's doing a little bit better than i thought because if you saw the have a look at those bulbs it doesn't look very promising and I must admit, those bulbs, like this root, for example, it's an old root, but it's still attached to those bulbs. But I want to take them off because, yeah, I'm going to, there, this, there's nothing in there anymore. It's pa very papery. It's not wet, it's papery, it's dry. So yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to take them off. And with that, I'm going to take off some roots as well, which I don't like. But I need those bulbs off. Uh, let me think, yeah. Scissors. And then I will grab my uh, hydrogen afterwards, but for the mold. Can I break them off? Oh yeah, I can break them off fairly easily. Maybe that's better in this case. Maybe I can save some roots. I'll just have a better look. You can see it's that old. It just can't you see how much, how easy this comes apart? And there's more mold. So yeah, this is definitely a good time to uh, do a repot because this is going to uh, get more mold in that pot than uh, we like. This one is the the newest of the, that sounds a bit strange, but the newest of the, the oldest bulbs. It's a little bit harder to get off, I think. As it's not going as easy, but there it goes. So just slowly, I'm not using too much pressure. Yeah, and I'm going to 
cut that piece off. Now I have a nice clear visual that I can cut there and I will not do too much damage to roots there. I think so let's uh, try to make a very clean cut. And there is that bulb off and you can see there was a little bit rhizome at attached just above my finger. That lighter spot there, that's the rhizome but you can see it. There wasn't much left anyhow and I don't see any uh, purple color so it looks like this one hasn't has it doesn't have fusarium and even some old moss this is the time to take that off I have some alive moss that's okay but the dead moss needs to come off and those roots those tips of the roots I'm going to cut those off as well this is the chance to do a really nice clean up before it's got going uh, back in the pot again so I really take my time uh, to clean this up nicely and to hopefully give this a nice fresh start it doesn't feel very healthy anymore you can see I pull on it, but it doesn't break. Still, this this part is uh, did, did break earlier, but still I'm going to cut it off because it's very dark. But these roots are very hard, so I'm not going to cut those off because this one doesn't have much roots, but more than I uh, than I thought. I must admit. Some growing tips, just uh, uh, on my nail there, so that's beautiful. Some old moss on top here, yeah, some older roots. Let's get those off as well. If am I, yeah, I'm in frame, try to get those off. It's a nice clean up, like I said, just take your time. This is very important. This is your chance to get it as clean as you can. You can see this the mold coming, so I think this is right on time to do this repot the other one has a more advanced new growth already but that one is stronger so i thought well i said to the architect you need to wait <laughs> because i want to do this in one uh, one go these two guys or girls whatever <laughs> but that one like it's much stronger so it will not give much problems i think it's still new growth but it has uh, already started to root which we will see in a few minutes. One new growth there. I don't see another one. That would be nice, but so far nothing yet. One is of obviously okay as well. Oh, this one, look. Yes, it's just starting new roots. Can you see that? Beautiful. This is actually a very good time. I had no idea that it was already shooting uh, roots, just starting. Just checking if there is maybe another new growth. But no. So, we have now a nice clear vision of this new growth. So, but it's an old root. Cut it off. Yeah, I'm going to grab my uh, hydrogen peroxide and I will be right back just for the mold. So I'm, I am back with my uh, hydrogen peroxide, 3%. I'm just going to spray the roots just to get rid of the, the mold, like I said. Normally I don't do this because I have these orchids for so long in my collection. But when I see mold, I just want to clean this up. Just hearing, not sure if you can pick it up on the mic, but it's sissing and doing its thing. I think this is enough of uh, hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to put it just here to rest on so I can uh, clean up 
and then uh, we will start uh, uploading this one again so yeah i think we are ready to put this arcade back in the pot this is going to be her new setup as you can see it's just a nice net basket net basket and i have already a little bit of a layer of the uh, bigger pumice because i decided to uh, reuse this media because it's just beautiful nothing wrong with it and it uh, apparently did uh, grow quite some roots in there and you can see it's beautiful nice clean and uh, yeah why not uh, use it again uh, for this orchid and we still have because it's a net pot quite a lot of air there which might be beneficial for the roots and once again we uh, we will see uh, how that uh, will turn out later in a few months something like that so i'm going to uh, try to position this as nicely as i can trying to get that new growth in the middle of the pot while i first try to uh, put the um, roots nicely in don't try to damage them i have also the syntic in here as a wick going downwards and i will uh, put it in a pot as well but now first i'm going to put a layer of this small pumice with a little bit of leca in back in a pot and I reuse it without cleaning because I believe there are beneficial bacteria in there that I uh, would like to use. Sometimes just thinking, it's just, it's just a thought that we might be uh, have, yeah, tempted to get things too clean, if that makes sense. Not, uh, not always the bacteria are bad or anything. So I try to work with it. It just looks very clean. There's nothing wrong with it. So just reuse it. I do reuse it. I should put it like that. Obviously, if you like to clean it, no problem. In the end, it may may not make that much of a difference. But still, I uh, I like to keep the good parts in as well. Bacteria-wise, who knows? I don't because I uh, don't know how to measure it. <laughs> but still. It has a root system that came out and uh, like, like I said, I'm just eyeballing it and I know it's, it's very clean. So, uh, yes, we're getting the point. <laughs> and I'm just filling up the pot. I have a few of those pebbles of the top layer going in with it. That's okay. If it's not too much, it will not be uh, harmful because we obviously the rest is wicking. We need that. Uh, that moisture around in a pot, but a few pebbles here and there is okay. I don't like these big bulbs of leca on top because these dry up very easily. And they don't like that. The roots of this plant really don't like to dry up, especially the new growing tips. So yeah, don't, uh, don't put too much leca there. A little bit further on is okay, but not just where they start in my opinion. So, I think that's, uh, that's enough. So, I will uh, put a uh, top layer of uh, my new pebbles on, on there. The more gray uh, pebbles that I really enjoy using. Because it gives a nice look at the, at the pots, I think. And there we go for my Psychopsis Alba. Well, almost, of course. I will update the tag. This is Pap Papilopidum Alba. Sorry. I will put uh, the date on, and then uh, this one is good to go. And then uh, I will start uppotting the other one, and I will uh, include some uh, parts of that uh, uppotting so we can have a look at that one as well. So you guys, I started working with the butterfly, the other uh, psychopsis, with this uh, more extended new growth. And as what, what I did ex expect, a uh, larger root system. I'm sorry, <laughs> quite a nice uh, root system actually, which is, uh, I hope you can see the white dots, points over here, there, 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 a lot of here, over here, and there, and there, and there, all new uh, root tips. So it's definitely also in a growing 
uh, state of mind. <laughs> so that's the best uh, best um, time to do a repot. And back here we have the older uh, bulbs. I had uh, quite some older roots that I could take off. So it's a very uh, there's quite a few of them as you can see. Those done their job, just old roots, nothing wrong there. And now we made we made room for the more fresh new roots. Uh, for a minute I thought, well, let's take off those other bulbs, but you can probably see that those have, most of them have still uh, do have leaves on. So I'm just leaving it. I'm not, not going to mess with these two. I just may break too much, uh, make do too much damage to the orchid. So I'm just leaving them. Beautiful old leaves, nothing wrong with it. So uh, this is just a uh, clip from this one that I just wanted to show you guys. I'm now going to put it up and we will have a last look at uh, both of them. So we'll, I will be uh, right back. So we're going uh, inside of the greenhouse to have a look at those two beauties. So yeah, that's the, the difference in pot size because uh, there is nothing I cannot find a net basket in between those two sides, so it's fairly small. This is uh, around 13 centimeters, 12, 13 centimeters, more general um, uh, size when you buy your orchids. And this one is about 15, 16, or even 17, I think it's 17. So I'm going from 12 to 17, so there's 5 centimeters of difference. I would love to have a an in-between uh, net pot but i couldn't find it on that basket anyhow this one has obviously had a bigger root system that one has a fairly small one so it's okay it suits them but still it's a very different now they were in the same size of pot but, <laughs> but anyhow this one is doing very well and here you can see there this is the new growth peeking out and I still left uh, the flower spikes on. I think they will do fine, but it will, this one will disappear in a few days. If I remember correctly for my first uh, or second repot years ago on this one, the blooms will uh, fade quite quickly because of the repot. But then it just starts blooming and pretending like nothing happened, especially when you have quite some many root tips as we saw with this one. It, it probably will not skip a beat. It may slow down a little bit, but that's it. It should be fine. And this one has now beautiful, uh, starting a beautiful new uh, growth with new roots we saw. So perfect timing for this one as well. And it should be fine and it does look so much better even though it's smaller but with those old bulbs gone there. Yeah, it just, it just looks so much better. New setup once again with that net basket. So we will have a look uh, at them uh, soon again. In between my mic did... Uh, fall off again that happened uh, happens often because the wire is get touched by uh, flowers <laughs> blooms and then my mic will fall off but anyhow uh, we are back here and yeah this is the end of the video and uh, i will do updates like i said if you have anything else or you see some ar argots or i did talk about something i didn't do any updates and you would like to know how things are going just let me know in the comment sections i really uh, would like to know what you uh, would like to see or maybe you want something uh, you have a question anything like that just leave them in the comment section i will uh, get to them and uh, probably make a video about it so that's uh that's where the comment section is for uh as well and um, obviously i really enjoy your beautiful comments just in general about uh, things happening here so thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. And here comes my hand with a mic. <laughs> Just to say bye bye.